the city and its transportation partners want to hear from you about several possible scenarios for the Durham Transit Plan update. The update is needed after the Durham Orange Light Rail project was discontinued. The goal of the plan is to determine the transit priorities and projects that are most important and beneficial to Durham. Based on public input gathered last fall, three potential scenarios have been developed for the new transit plan. One focuses on local and regional bus service with increased frequency, extended hours, and more new routes for the Go Durham and Go Triangle systems. Another is a bus-oriented transit system with greater emphasis on dedicated lanes on major corridors. And the third scenario includes commuter rail service between Durham and Wake County with a potential extension to Johnson County. More frequent service, improved bus stops, and service later at night will be addressed in all three scenarios. The next round of public outreach to get feedback on the three scenarios will begin on May 17th. That input will be gathered through mid to late June. More information about the Durham Transit Plan update can be found at EngageDurham.com. The redevelopment of the former police department headquarters is facing a significant challenge. The city had entered into agreements with the Fallon Company to purchase and redevelop the property at 505 West Chapel Hill Street. Those agreements were based on the company's commitment to the city's mixed use and affordable housing vision for the property. During the due diligence period for the purchase of the property, the Fallon Company determined that it is not financially feasible to move forward with the redevelopment in a way that aligns with the current agreements. That's because the building on site is in a more distressed condition than first thought. A residential conversion of the building is not possible without additional financial concessions and subsidies. And the COVID-19 pandemic has caused uncertainty for future real estate market conditions. As a result, the company sent a purchaser's termination notice to the city, along with proposed revisions to the agreement. Among those proposed revisions are a reduced purchase price from $9.25 million to $7 million and converting the Milton Small Building to residential units instead of commercial space. The proposed alternatives would also reduce the minimum required office space on site from 300,000 to 250,000 square feet and the design would no longer open up the first floor to West Chapel Hill Street or bring the building closer to the street. In addition, the alternatives would reduce the net value of total proceeds to the city by $3 million to $3.8 million over 10 years. As a result, the City Council requested at its May 6 work session that city staff prepare to start a new request for proposals process with other developers. More information on what that process will look like will be presented to council members in June. The Downtown Durham Business Improvement District is continuing to provide a variety of services to downtown business owners and visitors. Businesses within the district pay an additional tax in order to fund services that boost the impact of existing municipal services within downtown. District operator, Downtown Durham Incorporated, recently presented its annual report to City Council. The report shows that over the past year, the organization focused the majority of its attention on supporting small, independently owned businesses during COVID-19. That work included having the 11-person ambassador team helping to keep downtown clean, safe, and welcoming, helping to identify parking spaces to transition to curbside parking and pickup spaces for interested restaurants, working with restaurants and the city to determine best strategies for outdoor seating, and purchasing over $30,000 worth of outdoor tables and chairs, which were then loaned for free to interested restaurants. In addition, Downtown Durham Inc. also provided general business assistance to more than 300 prospective and existing businesses, entrepreneurs, investors, and developers. Activity that indicates that downtown continues to be a place of interest for small businesses, as well as larger developments and office tenants. More information about doing business downtown can be found at downtowndurham.com.